what is up peeps this is FTWTVHD I hope you can hear me well um <coughs> sorry so what I'm gonna uh, show you today is how to make your own logo type symbol thing for your YouTube channel maybe you need to learn how to use um, a cheap alternative like this Pixlr or uh, to help you with Photoshop for course like any anything like that so yeah I'm here to present to you how to um, how to make a cheap logo or a cheap logo <laughs> how to make a logo and I'm also going to present you the cheap alternative to Photoshop. I don't mean cheap, I mean free. It's completely free. And I use it for my thumbnails and everything I create at home. I use this. Now, first off, I'm just going to create the uh, logo to show you how I use this stuff. I usually use this for my thumbnails. But uh, yeah, this is how I make my logo as well. Just make a new one. Make sure it is 800 by 600. That's decent. If you want 800 by 800, that's up to you. It'll just be a straight square. Alright, so yeah, 800 by 600. And this is going to be your area of uh, work. But um, usually it's up to you if you want background or no background. Background, you just leave it like this and you, you can, you know, color it into what you want or anything like that. But um, if you want no background, uh, you look where my cursor is. You oh, I don't even think you can see my cursor, can you? <laughs> oh, that's stupid. All right. Uh, I'm seeing here I'm going to move layers here. You double click the lock sign here. That I'm clicking that it was a lock and now you see it's turned away if you want you can just click it away um, and that will you know let you know that I kind of get rid of the layer but it won't it kind of hides the layer not exactly gets rid of it but if you want to get rid of it you simply uh, right click and what oh I think you have to add a new one add new layer right click and delete that layer and then you have a full transparent layer and, and this is what I usually like to do so uh, in terms of making a logo, I'd say um, keep it simple. Don't go uh, too crazy and over the top with too much detail because a logo is supposed to be memorable. It's supposed to be easily, uh, well, easily memorable. I don't know why I repeat myself like that all the time, but um, yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be memorable. It's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to catch the eye. That's the whole point. It's not supposed to be uh, complicated. So if you're thinking of making a logo for your channel, um, definitely uh, try and uh, keep it simple. And make sure it catches the eye. What I like to do is just do a nice circle. Uh, if I create that here, I know that's awful, but I'll sort it out. So a nice circle. Uh, go to Edit, Free Transform to kind of shape it up correctly. Um, these uh, keys, uh, sorry, the settings are very similar to uh, Photoshop's uh, settings. So if you know much about Photoshop, then you you'll do pretty well. This. So yeah, uh, I just start off with a simple circle. I duplicate. You see, I'm going to right-click the layer. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Now this layer copy, I'm going to dye it a different color. Maybe uh, let's just do uh, red. Let's try red. What am I doing? Red. There we go. Let's do. For God's sake, let's do red. There we go. Let's dye it red. Dye that red. Uh, free transform. And you have a kind of bordered. Uh, and then you have a border. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure how, or I don't even have to give the option to kind of put borders around the shape. Or actually, I think I think they do. If uh, so, that's one way. But I'm going to try the other way now. So let's let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Why is it not going? All right, let's just delete these two layers and insert a new one. Uh, yeah. So that's one way of doing it. The way you saw me to do it. I guess you have more options of the the, the size. But I guess uh, another way is simply add the red square, uh, circle, sorry, add the red circle. Here it says border size and uh, turn up the border size and it should give you a border. And I think the, uh, that's very strange. Uh, it's kind of inverted. I guess the border size, the border color will be this color. And as uh, you saw up here when I selected, I'm assuming that's what the color will be when filling the shape. So, um, yeah, let's, let's invert that quickly. Let's undo that and undo and let's get that circle going all right so fill shape fill it with red and then go down to here to the bottom left down uh down here and change that color to black if you look at the bottom left of my screen you'll see that went to black so um now we just draw the circle and it should give us that border that we want there we go nice and simple that's a lot better i don't know why i didn't know that but i literally just, I'm learning as well as you. <laughs> Simple as. All right, and size that correctly to the way you want it, and there you have your your kind of your area of work, uh, where you're gonna put your stuff, wherever you're gonna put in there. 
Uh, I'm gonna try and make a type of replica of my old older um, logo, and I'm gonna show you how to put an image in because this uh, took me a while to figure out, and for some reason. I kept going to file and open image expecting the image to kind of place in here like place to Photoshop you just simply open image as layer and you select your image so let's select um, go to pictures select da, 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 da. that's a JPEG actually yeah let's get the JPEG up no 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 what am I doing I have a better one there we go. The no background one. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to get things, get rid of the background of certain things, uh, ask me, and I will show you. This is my Minecraft uh, avatar. If you will, it is that. So let's shape that up and kind of fit that in the box, in the circle. Sorry. Here, uh, what I'm going to show you quick. As you can see, there's some some little like white lines coming out from where I tried cutting it out and missed it. So what I'm simply going to do is select the rubber tool zoom in to uh, the, the area where it's all um, colored changes select the rubber select rubber tool um, let's try one of the box ones because the box is better it's easier to select where you want to go uh, yep that's correct and let's get rubber so do nice and slow oh undo you need a lot of patience doing this especially me for some reason the mouse is kind of slow for me I don't know if it's because I'm recording now or anything like that but yeah anything that seems a bit out of color like around here um, just simply do this and just rub it out there but yeah if you want me to show you how to completely cut it out then I, I will so let's do that do you know what, sorry, I think that's decent this is a tutorial it's not, uh, not like I'm actually doing anything I just wanted to show you how that works um, let's, let's get that to 70% maybe a bit more 80 uh, yeah it, for some reason the zoom uh, key is a bit different you can just uh, you click the zoom down here where I'm clicking now and you can zoom in uh, simply zoom in by clicking but you have to kind of left click and zoom out to zoom out which is kind of annoying all the time so if you want down here you can see I'm highlighting 150 percent where the uh, where it says pixels on the bottom left of the um, this window here uh, I just change it to 80 and it will come up with a nice, well, a nice zoom, I guess. So let's get that in here. Uh, I'm going to add some effects to it so I can show you what you could do. For some reason, there, there is a big difference in terms of effects with this in Photoshop. This doesn't have many uh, compared to Photoshop. I've tried the uh, Photoshop way of, you know, double clicking the layer and hoping that something will pop up, but no, it doesn't. It's just filter and adjustment uh, is what you can really do. So you can do Vignite there, kind of add a bit of uh, shadow in there, if you will. Uh, let's just let's just do that and get that in. Uh, so that's what you can do. You can do glow and stuff like that. Now, little effects, nothing uh, too too big at all. Um, now that's very already already quite simple. Sorry, my dear. Me, I am talking too fast for myself. So uh, now what you want to do is kind of obviously if it's uh, a company or a YouTube channel or anything like that, you want to put your name somewhere, don't you? So oh shit, <laughs> let's undo that. So you want to put your name somewhere. Let's make a new layer. Uh, new layer is down here, uh, but if you want, you can just go to layer, new layer over here, and it'll insert the new layer as well. So uh, let's add a box to well where you put your name. Uh, let's see if it does. Okay, so I advise you do it the same color uh, coding, red and black. So you fill the shape with red. Border size will be black, and yeah, that's nice. So let's do that. And let's just hope we get something out of it. There we go. Maybe a bigger border. That's up to you. But I'm just going to leave it now. Um, kind of. Kind of. Uh, I'm just going to shape it a bit more. You know, add a bit more shape into it, and just simply add your name there, and it would do the job really. But uh, that's quite simple. I know that that looks very strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with it until it looks quite nice. I might make it similar to my actual logo. If you see it, it's very similar to this. And I just want to show you uh, how it works. So I'm going to show you. Yeah, apply. I'm going to show you the uh, distortion option down here. It says you see it says free transform. This free distort, which is where you can actually uh, select like corners of the piece and move that specifically. So you can distort it in a way. 
uh, move it specifically to where you want to kind of line it up. Um, this this is going to be very similar to mine. And let's just get that there. If I apply it, I can move it around. It looks a lot better, of course, uh, and it's, it's quite nice. So just do that. And then let's add the name. So let's add the name, the name, the name, the name, the name, the name, the name. Uh, so here is the text tool. Uh, it's quite simple. You choose your font. You can download fonts on uh, websites. Just search downloadable fonts. You can get your own types of fonts. But I like Arial Black. That's what I use for pretty much everything. It's, it's quite simple. And it's, it's large, so it's easy to read. Left to the There we go. Uh, here you choose the size and everything like that. And just place it there. Maybe a bit more. Move it around. You can choose your style, bold font, italic. The color as well. So let's do, uh, let's just move it a bit, nudge it. There we go. And just, let's just do that. Yeah, you can also do the, all the other stuff here, you know, choose the glow and everything like that. Um, but yeah, if you want to add any effects, you need to right click the layer where it says FWTV HD, the one I am clicking on now. And you need to go, uh, I think it's Resterize uh, layer, layer. It allows you to edit it a lot more and do a lot more stuff. It's no longer a text layer, it's an actual well, layer. So you could do stuff like, uh, what the hell is that paste tool? I don't know what this is. I tried this one. Well, that does nothing. But yeah, you could do stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I hope this uh, helped you lot out. Just uh, play around a bit, see what you can do. I just wanted to show you lot the basics. And uh, yeah, so this has been a video to VHD. Slap the like button in the face if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments down below any questions, and I'll see what I can do. Anything you want me to do, if you want me to do a tutorial on like thumbnails or anything, let me know so I can do them for you. And uh, I think that's it. Peace.